there was another call made to the Belfont Police Department for Belfont Area High School. And our Maria Cade is still outside of the school where students were evacuated and sent home this morning after another swatting call. And Maria, we know that classes were canceled for the rest of the day. What was it like when the students were returning with their families? Well, Marty, just like you said, it was extremely scary and Maggie, it was very emotional here today. Myself and WTAJ photojournalist Nick Thompson were here at the scene and the parking lot that I'm standing in right now was completely filled. Police cars, families just waiting to hug their students and children um, after a really scary incident. Now, shortly before 11 o'clock, the students were evacuated from the high school over to the nearby football stadium after the the Belfont Police Department received a call from a male voice saying that several students were shot in a school bathroom and the police did determine that that was a fake call and there is no threat to the students or the staff at this time. Now, the superintendent of the school, she said that before 11 o'clock, families packed the area surrounding the football field and they were just waiting to reunite with their students. And I spoke with a few of the families immediately after that, many saying that they didn't know how to feel after such a thing like this. And the Belfont chief of police, Sean Weaver himself, had family members affected. His son is a student at the school and his wife is a teacher. No emotions. Uh, you know, you, you can't let any emotion uh, enter your, your mind when you're dealing with something like this. You know, I saw my wife coming out, you know, with her hands up. Uh, there can't be any emotion attached to that at all. But now, I'm pretty sure I'm a little emotional. But uh, my son goes to school as well. Now, as of this morning, the superintendent said that the plan was for the students and staff to return here to Belfont High School tomorrow and that there will be counselors available for anybody who needs them. Reporting live in Belfont, I'm Maria Cade for WTAJ News. Maria, thanks.